been going great. We've grown so much so fast. Honestly, yeah. What's good, y'all? Can y'all hear me? <clears throat> hey, how you doing, Bren? Hello, I am Legion. How are you? Thank you for sharing my live, you guys. I appreciate y'all sharing my live because they have me so badly shadow banned. It's ridiculous. Okay. Um, most people don't even get my um, notifications anymore, even if I send them out myself. So I appreciate you guys doing that. We're going to get into a reading, but I, um, I came on right now because I'm, I'm gonna do a reading after this i'm gonna end this live and then i'm gonna go sit down and do a reading for you guys but i came on hi tanya how you doing um i came on to let you guys know that uh every day is not gonna be a good day thank you i made it um I made the earrings too. And it also has a hit piece to it. Um anyway, every day's not gonna be a good day, you guys. Um but you have to focus on the prize. Every day that you wake up with good intentions, understand that there's someone somewhere trying to make sure that you have a bad day. And you have got to rise above that shit. Uh, I had a really hard day today. And um, I've over the last hour or two, I've been trying to bring myself to a better uh, energy because I know that all the energy isn't mine. So I've been cleansing and I've been getting refocused. So I wanted to let y'all know that there's going to be days, there's going to be times when you guys have to realize of them and they of them and they they start going in on what ever is going on with them. Instead of them asking you, do you have energy that you may not want to deal with right now? You got to remember your boundaries and you got to remember when to say, okay, I've had enough contact with people for the day. And, and I don't care if that's cell phone. I don't care if it's in person. I don't care if it's on the computer. You have got to release yourself from talking to people so that you can keep your energy going, keep your vibe high, and uh, not 
allow certain forces to come in and try to, you know, knock you back and forth because there's a lot of energies out there buzzing around trying to get into where and they can dump it on you and then they don't then it's released from them don't let people do that to you okay make sure that you are guarding your energy have your boundaries up you know if someone goes into a conversation with you where it's something you can't handle say whoa 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 uh uh-uh. uh like i can't not today i can't handle that So, and if they get mad, they get mad. Let them get mad. Because you saving yourself is more important than you saving them. Because as soon as they're done dumping on you, they're going to feel better. But then you got it on you. And then you're going to have to cleanse. And I've been going through this all day with people. And so... A lot of this negative energy is on me right now. And I'm trying to cleanse and uh, get it off of me. So remember, and I know that that a lot of that is my job um, as a spiritual coach. But there are some things that just are not. Even as a spiritual coach that you don't have to deal with. Life coach, spiritual coach, police officer, teacher, mother, father. I don't care who you are, okay, or what you do for a living. Don't allow people to push energy on you that's not yours. Oh, you know, we all have them, right? Like, every day is not going to be rainbows and and, uh, unicorns and sunshine, right? And... Unfortunately, as someone who teaches and is a reader, a seer, whatever you want to call me, because I'm, I don't go by medium or psychic or tarot card reader. I don't do that. That's not who I am. Okay. But even as that, you know, people want to tell you their story and I don't need to know your story. <laughs> I want, you ask me for a reading and um, not saying that I'm not concerned about your story, but you have to let people know, okay, okay, no, I don't need to know this information. You wanted to read it. You needed to know what the card was saying for you. Huh? So that's what we're going to do. And that goes for any job that you have. Learn when to tell people, uh, nope, I didn't ask that. Um, And nope, I don't have space for that. Learn when to turn it off. And you know, a lot of the time for me, being out in public, period, is really draining. Because I feel everything. And I know some people don't understand that. And that's okay. It's not meant for you to understand. But if you are a highly intuitive, sensitive, high-vibing person, you feel everything and people are drawn to you even out in public random people want to bump into you touch you or whatever uh, get close to you come and stare at you uh, I, I I can't tell you how many strange things I, I get every day and it's just kind of like <laughs> this is why I keep my ass in the house because there's so many spirits that want to jump on to you <laughs> so Be mindful, guys, of protecting your energy. And people who want to take a lot of your time. It doesn't matter how. Put up your boundaries. If you know that certain things, certain energy, certain um, activities drain you, Absolutely watch what you're doing and do do it uh, intentional. Right now, I really have no choice to go do the things that I'm doing. I, I have to. So I'm trying to keep my strength up, but I'm so drained today. Um, 
and Spirit wants me to give a reading. So I'm going to give y'all one good reading. And I'm going to take me a shower and I'm taking my ass to bed. Okay. And hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I know it will be. Um, because trouble don't last always. And I'm so glad that it doesn't. Okay. But it's another day's journey and I'm glad about that. Let me say that. I am grateful and thankful for another day's journey. Okay. And now I'm home. So, yeah. Let me just leave that there with y'all. Okay. I am going to rest. Spiritual coach. Yes, I am a spiritual coach. If you're questioning that. The Big Alpha. How you doing, The Big Alpha? If it just depends, you need a spiritual coach. The link is in my bio, honey. Okay. Lena, when we are done, is that you, Lena? When we're done with our, um, when I'm done with the collective, I'm, I want to do your reading so we can get it out of the way. Because I don't think that I will be, um, well, thank you. I made it. Um, I make jewelry. I, I was selling it, but Spirit wants me to concentrate on my spiritual coaching and my teaching. So I'm being obedient because when I do, big things happen. <laughs> and uh, and the jewelry is, is time consuming for me. And um, yeah, this took me like maybe three or four weeks to make. Because I, I made this, I made the earrings. And then I made a head uh, piece with it. So, um, well, thank you so much. I'm good, Big Alpha. Good, Lena. So you stay, you stay in here. So after the uh, uh, collective, I'll do a, um, I'll do your reading. I'm going to put y'all on pause. Don't go nowhere. Look, there's 37 people in here. This is what I'm telling y'all. They be surely shadow banning me like a motherfucker. Okay? They really do. So y'all please like and share my live. And please uh, follow me. Also, follow me over on YouTube. Follow me over on Instagram. Um, also wanted to make sure that you guys remember that we are still in the running for the top 15 for the favorite chef. So I'm asking that you guys continue to vote for me every day um, so that I can make it into the top 15 and so that I can make it into the top 10. I think we're going to go to the top 10. We might even go down to the top 5, guys. I don't even know. They don't let us know nothing uh, except right before the next round. So... Y'all know when I know. Um, and if you want to stay on top of that, um, and if you want to stay on top of that, uh, you can follow me like Okay. So uh, follow me over there. And uh, yeah, we'll continue. I'm going to pause this. So don't go nowhere, y'all. Yes, I need to rest. Oh, I'm going to gain so much energy back because I'm going to, I'm going to be pampering myself. Um, I'm going to be taking a, a day or two or three or four off again because I got a lot going on in the background. A lot that I'm doing besides the favorite chef, besides uh, this, besides YouTube, I, I, I got a lot going on. So, um... I do need rest. I really need a vacation. Um, but I can't do that just yet. It'll be coming soon, though. I definitely need a vacation. Um, it's been some time uh, since I had one. <laughs> so I need to allow myself to have that and soon. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my lord, Angela. <laughs> hey, Synergy. All right, y'all, I'm gonna pause this if I can know how to fucking pause this. Y'all so I can share my life. Let's see where everybody is. I know everybody probably thought I wasn't coming on today because I haven't been on all day. But it's just because I was busy and dealing with some shit. Am I back? Thank you so much for liking my live. This damn connection is brutal. Sorry, y'all. The daggone connection is horrible. Three, three people in here as I look up. Here we go. Maybe we'll get a keep a good... Um, it was just raining and the wind was blowing. The sun's coming out now. Um, we've gotten a lot of rain over the last week. Which is good. I was walking through the neighborhood and I see everything is starting to turn green again. And uh, looking all plush. My front yard is looking good. And the plants that, that I got grown out there are starting to look good again. So I'm grateful for the rain. All right, y'all. Um, we just gonna see what comes out. We gonna look at the twin flame cause it's Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And um, we'll look at the twin flame real quick. Let me get some water, I'll be right back. just starting Courtney <clears throat> we gonna do a twin flame reading cuz it's twin flame Tuesday okay the song that I was getting oh let me shut this door <clears throat> the channel song that I was getting y'all was um and I haven't heard this song in so many years. Cindy Lopper. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting. Time after time. Um... That makes me feel like someone could be watching you to make sure that you're okay. Um, but they're saying if you're lost, you can look and you'll find them. Like, they'll be right there when you need them. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the channeled song. It's called Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. Confirmation with the horn. Okay. You were out and that song was playing. Wow. Am I feeling okay? I've already We're not going to uh, 
rehash the old, we just gonna keep moving forward. Basically, I was just talking about how people can drain your energy and that you have to watch how much energy you're giving to certain things or you will be drained. Um, and I had a really rough day. So we're going to do this twin flame uh, reading. God damn it, I don't have a uh, twin flame energy in here. Hold up. I'll be back. Now this is a twin flame that, that can be in separation or it could be a twin flame that you're with, okay? Or someone that you kinda with. You know what I mean. Cause the twin flame would be crazy, okay? Uh, the twin flame journey is crazy. So you kinda with them, but not really. Or, uh, you know, there's some shit going on. Where you're like, I'm not fucking with that person right now, okay? So uh, yeah, we wanna um, get into this energy. And see what's going on with the twin flame because I haven't checked in on them since probably last week or something like that. And we'll see what's happening for the twin flame. I'm going to do the, um, I'm going to do my moon manifestation card for them. And I'm also going to do the tarot and see what spirit, the advice from spirit is. And then I'm going to get into my cards, okay? Oh, thank you for becoming a member. Let's get into it. Do you know how much I love you? Okay. You be all up in through my energy. Okay, let's get into it. Like, you be all up in through my energy. Okay. I don't know if y'all follow uh, this young lady or not, but y'all need to follow Let's Get Into It. Okay. Y'all follow Let's Get Into It because I'm trying to tell you. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. For the twin flame. What's the overall energy for the twin flame? You are so welcome. Good afternoon, Ree. How are you doing? Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. We gotta get together. We should do a live together or something like that. Let's get into it. You know, I've only done that one time before and I regretted that shit and had to block that uh, person. But, um... I don't feel those vibes from you at all. So I would love to do a, um, a live with you. Um, we can do online, on live readings for people. Um, you know, we can split the cost or whatever you want to do. Let me know. Email me. The link is in my bio, okay? Show me why I need to see, please, Spirit, for the Twin Flame. What's the overall energy for the Twin Flame? You can relate. I bet you you can. <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, spirit. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for the twin flame. What's going on in the twin flame right now? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck is let your fears dissolve. Cancer energy. So we are in cancer season. So maybe someone is letting go of a fear of something that they have. Maybe letting go of the person, of the twin. Maybe that is a fear that you're having. And I feel like Spirit is saying, let that shit go. Let them fears go because everything you want is on the other side of fear. Or Spirit could be saying, take that leap of faith with your twin. You know your story, okay? You know want to be with your twin or not. Everybody's in a different space. Okay, so you could also be having fears about taking a leap of faith with your twin. So Spirit is saying, let that go. Hey, Lilo, how are you? <laughs> Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for the twin thing. 
Y'all, I got the door open again, so you might hear cars, you might hear uh, bugs, you might hear birds, you might hear cats. They was out here fighting early. I don't know what the fuck they was fighting over, but it was serious. And uh, you might hear some dogs or whatever. All right, show me what I need to see. We got take a reality check. Capricorn energy. So maybe the twin flame is taking some type of inventory of their relationship and really... Uh, looking at the real parts of their relationship and not what they want to see, getting out of fantasy thinking and really diving into seeing what really is happening. We got to know you are loved. Libra energy. Also, keep your heart open. Libra energy. It makes me feel like there could be something happening in Twin Flame in Libra season. I said that. Some, something in October or September. Because that's Libra. Libra starts at the end of September and goes on into October. So sometime in the fall, there could be something that's going to change in the, uh, in the twin flame journey here. With this uh, take a reality check, you both could be focusing on your money because it's Capricorn energy. And I've already told you guys, you know, Capricorn energy is that luxurious living, making sure your shit is stable, making sure you have everything you need. So I feel like both of you guys have your money at this time. But there could be a big shift that's going to happen in Libra season. Okay, and Spirit is saying keep your heart open. Whatever has gone on between y'all, if you're letting that person go, okay. But Spirit is saying continue to keep your heart open regardless. Um, and that's a hard thing, especially because twins can do a number on you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, we all know that. Can y'all still hear me? Because I don't see the thing moving. People in here as I look up. Okay, so balance. I've been seeing that number so much. So there could be something that's going to come into balance in Libra season. And Libra, what the fuck? Libra season is all, Libras are all about balance. They're all about wanting the relationship to be balanced. Are y'all going to let me know if you can hear me or not? I mean, it says I'm good, but I don't see nothing happening. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all see me? Is it acting up? I don't know if y'all seeing me, y'all probably wondering why am I just sitting here, but my screen ain't moving. I'm about to end this and start a new live because I don't know what's going on. I don't see nothing. All right. So I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm going to end this live and start another one. I don't know what's happening with it, y'all, so I'm closing it out. 